Our objective here is to uh, talk about the relationship between uh, uh, voltage, current, and charge and flux. Um, let's let's go ahead and start talking first about the relationship between uh, voltage and flux and current and charge. So voltage, we we can go ahead and write voltage as equaling a derivative of um, charge, uh, flux. So that's the relationship between those. So you can also say, I suppose, that the flux is an integral of voltage, the reverse of that. And then the next thing we need to look at is uh, current. Current, we can say that the current is a derivative of charge with respect to time. So change, a change over time of charge is referred to uh, as current. Great. So now that we established that relationship, and anybody who starts working in the electrical engineering field or studying electrical engineering field very quickly realize that there's a relationship here, which is change in voltage is proportional to change in current, and its proportional uh, proportionality value is R, which we call the resistor. Great. So, and we all know kind of more or less. Uh, 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 this equation, which is called Ohm's law, and that's where it's derived from. Mm. And then a couple of new items we haven't talked about is the relationship between voltage and charge. Uh, it's referred to as uh, uh, the, the so as the as the change in charge equals to C times uh, V. Now, changing, so if, if, you, if you write this a little bit differently, we can write it as D, the change in respect to Q with respect to time uh, equals to C, change of voltage with respect to uh, time. And this becomes kind of the essence of a, a equation, which is the essence of capacitors, and we'll talk more in detail later. But D, the, the derivative of Q with respect to time we refer to that as I, current, right? And then that I equal to C dV dt. And this equation is every bit as important to capacitor as V equal Ri was to Burby's side resistors. Now let's take a look at another one, which is a change in flux is equal to L di dt. So in other words, L being the inductance. Uh, so if we rewrite that equation as change in flux with respect to time is equal to L di dt, then this, obviously, from the earlier conversation, that's voltage, which is V equal to L di dt. And this is a relationship between voltage, between voltage and currents of an inductor. L is referred to as an inductor. And we'll talk about that as well. Now, finally, this is called the Memmerster. And this really has a, it's a relative, I mean, it's been about 30 years since somebody theoretically, drew, you know, drew this graph and say, hey, we got capacitor here, we got resistor here, we got L here, there must be something here. And they conjecture that there will be something here, obviously, which would relate the change in flux would change in uh, charge. So, so they, they, they kind of conjectured that that's, there's something like that existing out there and called it Memster. It wasn't until probably in the, in the mid 2010, 10-ish time frame where some researchers in HP lab figured out, were able to build a device that behaved along these axes between these two things. And, um, and so, <clears throat> so this memoster is not in production. People are still trying to figure out how it could be implied. And we're really not going to cover our focus so far in the previous videos in this series has been on resistive circuits. And now we're going to start looking at capacitive circuits and inductive circuit and really going to focus on developing this equation for inductance and this equation for capacitance.